Hello and welcome to French Fried Trains. It's Sunday, August 18th, 2019. I went out around 10.30 a.m. or so and I lucked out. I no sooner pulled into my parking spot at my normal spot here in Carlisle and opened the door and heard the sound of a southbound train coming. And let me tell you, it was definitely hot that morning. A southbound ore train, led by a pair of AC-44 CWs, the leader still wearing its YN2 paint scheme. He only has the two locomotives on today, which is becoming more common. For a while there, he always had three. And maybe it was just the speed at which he was going by, but for some reason, he seemed shorter than normal today. And I don't normally get to go rail fanning in the morning as much, so it was interesting to see just how differently the sunlight plays off the train in the morning as opposed to my usual evening rail fan time. After he passed, it was about an hour before anything else happened. I got up off the bench to check, and what do you know, we have a yellow signal indicating a train meet. It was about another 20 minutes after that before the southbound finally arrived. Some nice power on this one. And we have a GP35 road slug in the lead, originally built for the B&O, followed by a GP40-2, originally built for the Chesapeake and Ohio, and trailing in the third position is an SD-43 rebuild, originally built as an SD-40-2 for the Clinchfield. And if you don't know what a road slug is, that is where they take the entire prime mover, the entire engine, out of the locomotive and they fill it with concrete for weight. They leave the traction motors on the locomotive and they slave it to another locomotive. So essentially, the road slug is running off power from the locomotive behind it. A really cool way to reuse these old locos. You can always easily spot a road slug because the side panels of the locomotive on the long hood have no access doors and no screen. They've all been filled over by solid sheet metal. A nice way for CSX to give some of its trains extra power and keep some old locomotives from the scrapyard. Well, not unheard of for a road slug to be on a mainline train. They're more commonly used in yard work and switching operations. As you can kinda see from my crazy zoom shot, he was moved over onto the siding and he pulled all the way to the other end of the siding 
So far down you could barely even see his tail end. He waited down there for about 20 minutes before this next northbound train arrived. A northbound intermodal, led by an ES44 ACH. It had been a while since I saw an intermodal train, so this was nice for me. This guy also has a second locomotive running as distributed power. And now we know why that shorter manifest train from earlier was put into the siding and had to wait. Intermodal trains, whenever possible, always have priority on CSX's network. At this point I was thinking to myself that he probably had a DPU unit on him, as intermodal trains generally don't run with only one locomotive. As it turned out, my hunch was right. And that was all the trains I got Sunday morning. I waited around another hour, but all I seen was this high railer going by. Probably out there to do his track inspection. So I called it a morning and I went home. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next episode of French Fried Trains. Have a great day.